Good morning and welcome again to Morning Devotions. Thank you again for our time together and for the privilege of coming to be a part of your life. This is Christmas season. Got the great children's musical this weekend, Saturday and Sunday and Friday night. Well, for the next two Friday nights, I'm changing what I was gonna preach and I wanna talk to you about cleaning out your friendship closet for 2017. There are some people that should not be a part of your life if you want to move forward and grow in God and fulfill God's plan for your life in 2017. So it's going to be a fun study. Right now I want us to go back to the book of Revelation chapter 8 beginning with verse 1 to one of the strangest verses in the Bible. When he opened the seventh seal, verse 1, there was silence in heaven for about a half an hour. Now that, that should make us pause for a minute. Heaven is perpetual joy. And, and you have to remember that in His presence, there is fullness of joy. When you get to heaven, all you, the only emotion that's going to overcome you constantly is joy. The sound that you always hear is praise and worship. But all of a sudden, the joy ceases. The worship and praise ceases. And all of heaven stands still, totally silent for half an hour. Very different from that angelic choir rejoicing at the birth of our Savior. Now all of heaven stands silent. And I saw before the seven angels who stand before God and to them were given seven trumpets. Now when the seven trumpets begin, the tribulation has already been bad. But when the seven trumpets begin, the tribulation becomes beyond imagination. A third of the earth is burned up, a third of the trees are burned up, a third of the green grass is burned up, a third of the sea turns to blood, a third of the living creatures in the sea die, a third of the ships on the sea are destroyed, uh, a third of the waters turn bitter. I mean it just it just goes from bad to worse to worse to worse to worse. And then you get over to verse 13, as I watched I heard an angel flying in midair call out in a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth because of the trumpet blast about to be sounded by the other three angels. The woes, and, and already four trumpet blasts have sounded. Now, brothers and sisters, I think that you need to back up and understand that yes, God is a God of judgment, and God will bring judgment, but there is no joy in judgment in the heart of God. And there is no joy in heaven over the judgment of God. I sometimes see Christians today, and this is the point I'm wanting to make. I, I sometimes see Christians today when people begin to reap what they've sowed, and they almost get happy about it. They, they get happy seeing judgment. Heaven rejoiced over mercy. Heaven grows silent over judgment. I would like you to take a hard look at your heart today and ask yourself, do I have the attitude of heaven in my heart? Do I rejoice over grace and mercy? And do I grow silent as I look at judgment? Or are we the other way around? And if so, maybe we need to come to the presence of our Heavenly Father and say, Lord, I need an attitude adjustment. 